going to need one catfish fillet. I got a quarter cup of panko, quarter cup Parmesan cheese, quarter cup diced, chopped, however you want to say it, Italian parsley. Then we've got dry spice wise, we have an eighth teaspoon of oregano, eighth teaspoon of basil, quarter teaspoon of paprika. Then we have an eighth teaspoon of garlic powder, an eighth teaspoon each of salt and pepper. What I've got over here is a third cup of butter that I've melted. Now what we want to do is take that catfish fillet and let's just sit it over here in the butter. In fact we're going to butter both sides, right? All right. Now let's talk about getting how we're going to you know get this set up. I'm going to put my panko in here in this bowl. Right? And then I'm going to put my dry ingredients. Okay, the salt, pepper, all the dry spices and seasonings. Okay. Now we're just going to mix this up. And in fact, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put about half of that parsley in there. Now, we've got that catfish fillet that we've uh, buttered up. I don't know what that was. And what I'm going to do now is sprinkle it on each side of this guy, all right? Just about 50 50. Just use your eyeballs to make a judgment. All right, now what I've got is a pan we're going to bake it in. This pan is obviously bigger than you need. I'm just going to butter it up a little bit to keep it from sticking. Um, because I'm going to, when we get it done cooking, I'm going to take it out of here so you guys can see it. And I don't want everything sticking. All right. Now I'm going to take that piece of fish, the side that we already breaded up, put it down. All right. And now we're going to finish putting our seasoning on this side. Okay. Get her all nice and covered. All right. Now I'm going to take that Parmesan cheese, sprinkle it on the top. <laughs> it's looking good already. And then the last thing we'll do is take the rest of that parsley. Like I said, I split it about half, maybe a third. It's hard to say. I just did it with my eyeball. Okay. Now let's get this over to the grill. We've got our grill temperature set on 400 degrees. We're just going to put our fish in here. And I'm thinking it's going to take right around 20 minutes at 400 degrees. It's been 20 minutes. Let's check this fish. Okay. Oh, it's looking good. It smells good. I think I am going to leave it on just a few more minutes just to let this cheese melt a little bit more. So maybe five more minutes and then we'll take it off. All right. 25 total minutes of cook time. Oh, the color looks great, doesn't it? You could have just as easily done this in the oven, right? We did it at 400 degrees. Like I said, 25 minutes total cook time. Color looks delicious. Let's just let it sit there for two minutes. Let me just get a bite of this cheesy goodness. Oh yeah. Let's just let it sit here for about two minutes and then we'll give it a taste test. Okay. We're going to cut this guy in the middle so you can see what it looks like. Okay, here's our catfish. You can see it's all nice and white on the inside. All right, I'm telling you, it smells incredible. I want to give it a try and let you know how this is. There it is. Hopefully, you can see that a close up. It's all nice, white, a little bit crunchy crust. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Okay, what I like about this recipe, and as I mentioned, this is another one from over there at uh, USA Catfish. This catfish is so, so moist. And then this whole outer goodness is crunchy. So you've got this really juicy catfish and then this nice crunch, and it's just full, full of Italian flavors. 
Hey, thanks again for watching another one of our videos. We really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber already, I hope you hit that armadillo pepper icon.